Hi there, Andre. I'm happy to see that you've written us a new set of essays. Congratulations. I see you working hard. So let's see what you did in this set. Okay, school is entertaining or just educational? Let's see what you said. At the turn of the 21st century, the question of school education is still controversial due to the constantly changing paradigms and advancements in this sphere. While a part of society believes, that should be believes with an S, the educational process must be more entertaining. Their opponents emphasize the main aspect of it. Educational is more important. In this essay, I shall refer to, uh, to research of Ukrainian psychologists, which vindicate the correctness of those believing in entertainment. Okay, I'm not really a huge fan of this word. Um, I see that you're trying to use some more advanced vocabulary, um, and that's that's great. That's important to do. But this particular word just doesn't fit here. So sometimes it's better to um, select a word that might seem more basic. Um, it's better to do that because it's it's the appropriate word. Um, that's why um, I would say that. Okay, because this doesn't you can't really say that psychologists vindicate the correctness of something. Mm, it doesn't really work um, as a collocation. Okay, but other than that, it's lovely. It's really good. Okay, to begin with, it is clearly false to be sure that constant focus on educational materials can be kept uninterruptedly. Okay, especially among little pupils with their sporadic games and regular daydreaming. Okay, you don't mean sporadic games either. Uh, sporadic games means that very seldomly they play games. And that's, I don't think that's what you mean at all. Um, mm -hmm. Although school programs try to balance students' concentration and relaxation periods, it is obvious that these efforts are not taking emotional aspects into consideration. For example, according to a recent paper by the Ministry of Education of Ukraine, teenage students work effectively slightly less than 40% of school time because they cannot find connections between education and personal fulfillment, which is, for instance, mm, careful, not which is and is, which is regarded as a crucial part of personal development. In other words, those students regard attending school rather like a boring chore than something enjoyable. Okay. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, fine. Well, I just wanted to reread it quickly. On the other hand, regular emotional involvement is the tool which fosters positive outcomes of teachers' efforts because positive emotions caused by entertaining activities help the children. We don't write um, kids in IELTS, okay? Um, you can maybe write it in a general task one letter, um, but not in the essays and not in, yeah, not in the essays and not in the graphs. So, help the children emotionally suffering from the individualistic bedroom culture to find school learning more attractive and fulfilling. Consequently, having school subjects which are designed to develop students' emotional intelligence or entertain boosts learning abilities of the latter. Which is the latter? The latter? Who is the latter here? Um, you have to be careful with using the former and the latter because uh, if it's not absolutely clear what you're referring to, then it just becomes very confusing. So here, I don't know who you're referring to because look at all the nouns that you've had since talking about children um, and students. So I, I'm assuming this, maybe this is what you mean. This is the former and this is the latter, but it doesn't work like that. The former and the latter have to be uh, a little clearer to the reader. So, um, for example, uh, students and teachers both find um, school very boring. Um, the former because they hate concentrating and the latter because they find their students obnoxious. I don't know, something like that. So, um, that's how you use the form in the letter. Okay, where were we? There we are. Specifically, the positive correlation between having emotional subjects and good marks has already been proven by a study conducted by an associate professor of the National Academy of Pedagogics of Ukraine. All right. To sum up, while the school education system is primarily perceived as something not connected with emotional involvement and pleasure, recent studies have already proven that in order to make teaching effective, it is vital to extend its boundaries by adding emotional components, i.e. entertainment, as a means, as a means, plural means always, of recuperating the pressures and developing involvement. Okay, so let's talk about the good things about this essay. The grammar is very good. Um, there were just very few spots where it was inaccurate. Um, the vocabulary um, is good. You took a lot of risks. Some of those risks paid off. Some of those risks did not. So 
what I want you to work on is just to make sure that um, some of these advanced vocabulary words you're using do actually fit into the into the sentence and into the meaning that you want to convey. Okay, so those are the good things about this essay. The structure is great, no problems there. Um, uh, my my concern is with your um, topic development. Did you develop the topic? Yeah, you did. Did you um, discuss both sides of the issue? Yeah, you did. I mean, you basically said that this focus on um, just academics is damaging to students. Um, and then you talked about the positives of um, entertainment. My problem is that you really, really was you really, really focused so much on the the um, emotional component that I felt you, at, at, as a result, the uh, the entertainment part of the essay suffered. Okay, so um, I think you 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 didn't kind of grab onto the entertaining aspect of school as much as I wanted to, and you were more concerned with this whole emotional aspect um, instead. So um, that's a little problematic. And let me explain to you why. Um, let's imagine that I didn't have this topic in front of me, and let's imagine that I had no idea what this topic was. If I had to guess what the topic of your essay was, I would say that the topic is, some people think schools have to um, be more concerned with students' emotional development rather than just educate. Do you understand? So um, that's what it sounds like your essay is about. And you don't want that. You want me to be able to guess exactly this topic. Okay? So I hope that's helpful. I hope that makes sense. Um, it's a nicely written essay. I just want you to be careful with your focus. So let's look at your second one now. Um, okay, creativity, then reading. Fine. The, uh, the question of developing children's cognitive abilities has always been disturbing parents around the globe. No four. Okay, the, there is an opinion that reading is a less effective method of gaining new abilities and creativity than cooperative activities resulting in positive emotions, okay? While this idea may seem controversial, I shall elaborate the argument in favor of it because there are proven techniques for helping children to grow mentally with reading regarded not as a primary activity. All right, nice. To begin with, it is obvious that although reading is a basic necessity nowadays, it cannot replace other ways of consuming and processing information, like, for example, active listening and talking, which are inevitable parts of theater performances. For instance, a study conducted by the Association of Ukrainian Drama Players shows that teenagers participating in extracurricular theater classes demonstrate not only better memory and self-presentation skills, but also, surprisingly, can solve geometrical tasks 30% careful with that S there faster than their peers who prefer reading to theater classes. Uh, furthermore, another study confirms that this phenomenon originates from the variety of interests and activities the former participate in, i.e. because children grow as multifaceted individuals. Okay, careful with the former, remember, okay? Um, all right, it's great, it's lovely, I really liked it. Furthermore, playing computer games with built-in quests and quizzes helps boost helps with boosting academic test results, especially if the games are played with parents. Since the IT industry is, is extremely advanced today, it produces high-quality multimedia products designed for multiplayer environments, so parents love spending time with their children while playing computer games together. A number of professionals study the consequences of this leisure activity, so they have recently discovered the family that family computer games help children develop emotional harmony, which helps them to stay focused and relaxed. They also develop better academic results due to advanced puzzle skills obtained from the games. Okay, you needed an and here, and okay. Um, okay, let's go to the conclusion, and I'll tell you more. To sum up, I firmly believe that reading cannot be ignored as a means, again, S, of nurturing intellectually advanced D personalities. Okay, you need a, a linker here, but, or however, it should also be seen rather like a basic need than a only possible way of personal growth, provided that a number of other possibilities are available, like, for example, free time with family and after school clubs. Okay, um, I enjoyed this. I really liked reading it. Uh, I thought it was very interesting. Uh, it was well written. So um, it's great, but there is again one problem. 
I want to see, all right, look what you're supposed to just talk about, better skills and more creativity. So you talked about the skills, you talked about self-presentation and other memory skills. Okay, great, no problems there. Here you talked about academic test results, emotional harmony, stay focused, great, academic results. Where's creativity? Okay, so maybe you're thinking, oh, come on, Ellen. I mean, if they're doing theater, then of course they're being creative. Yeah, but you didn't talk about it, and you can't assume that the examiner understands that. So the essay is really specific. It wants better skills and more creativity. I love that you you compared it to reading. You did that really quite well. Um, in fact, it's rare that I see that in this essay. But um, what would have better a better way to do this is um, Honestly, just mentioning creativity in here that the the drama clubs allow these students to um, to explore their creativity, different ways of expressing themselves, different ways of showing emotion or you know I mean it's um, there are lots of ways you could have added creativity here. Here, for example, when you're talking about these um, these computer games, there's a little bit of creativity involved because they have to do um, some out of the box thinking. Okay, it's problem solving, and so this problem solving many times requires them to be creative in some of these games. Okay, so it really it was so close to being um, a fantastic essay. Unfortunately, because you left out this element of creativity, yeah, you mentioned it in your introduction. Um, but that's it. And so that's going to be a real problem. Um, it will certainly lower your score for task achievement, which is a shame because it's such a well-written essay. Okay. Um, all right. So let's talk about what you need to do, Andre. The first thing is correct these essays based on my corrections and then return that back to us. Also, um, you're going to create an error correction list where you write down all the mistakes that were pointed out to you and um, next to each mistake how they uh, what the correct version is okay send that file to us as well and the third thing you'll need to do is of course write a new set of essays hopefully applying all the things that um, have been discussed in this video and all the things you've been learning in the course so go ahead and get that started my suggestion is to do all of this within the next day or so so you can really apply everything you've been learning okay good luck um good job let's just uh, work together to um, overcome these issues with task achievement and you'll certainly be on your way okay good luck to you looking forward to your next essays